Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best studio headphones. Starting at number 5. Hiffyman Edition XS. Are you looking for something more affordable? Take a look at the Hi-Fi Man Edition XS. These use planar magnetic drivers to help them create an immersive, open, and natural seeming sound stage well suited for mixing and mastering. Still, their performance is similar to Hi-Fi Man's pricier models if you want more affordable planar magnetics. They have a neutral sound profile that makes them well suited for various genres. They lack some low bass, like all open back headphones, but the rest of the range is well balanced, so your audio has punch. Voices and instruments sound clear, detailed, and bright. Their build quality suffers due to their plastic-heavy construction and flimsy hinges. If you're looking for a pair of open back cans that feel more durable and feature premium materials, it's worth looking at the Audis MM100. These headphones also feature planar magnetic drivers, creating an open and spacious soundstage. However, their sound profile isn't quite as balanced as the Hi-Fi Man, as their treble range is recessed. This can be an advantage if you plan to use them for long mix sessions, as your ears won't become as fatigued over time. Coming at number 4. Sennheiser HD 800. If you prefer open backs, then the Sennheiser HD 800S are worth considering. Compared to closed back headphones, which are better for recording, open backs are a solid choice for mixing. Thanks to their design, audio leaves the ear cups and interacts with the environment around you, helping create a more immersive and natural soundstage. While the Sennheiser are the best open back headphones, they come with a hefty price tag, meaning they won't be for everyone. You'll also need a powerful amp to drive them, so if you don't already have one, this can be an additional cost. These premium open back headphones have a very neutral sound profile, with an accurate mid-range response that ensures vocals and lead instruments sound clear and accurate. Their treble response is also very well balanced without being piercing or harsh. Like most open back headphones, they struggle to reproduce the thump and rumble of low bass. Their audio cable is detachable, and they come with one extra in the box, along with a 1 quarter to 1 8 adapter. They also have a sturdy, high-end build and a very comfortable fit. Unfortunately, the pin that keeps the hinges together is prone to coming loose over time, which is annoying, and some may prefer a bit less plastic in the build at their price. The equally high-end Hi-Fi Man Aria Stealth Magnet version don't suffer from this problem and have a deeper bass extension, but their planar magnetic drivers make them bulkier and heavier. That said, they're still worth considering for mixing. At number 3. Audio-Technica ATH. If you're on a tight budget or need several pairs of headphones and want an affordable option, it's worth considering the Audio-Technica ATH M20X. These headphones aren't as well built as the Sony MDR7506, but they offer good sound at a lower price. They look similar to the Audio-Technica ATH M50X, but have a more plasticky design with a thinner metal frame and exposed cables. Their sound lacks a bit of low bass for closed back headphones, but they offer a flat, neutral mid-range response that reproduces voices and instruments clearly and accurately. However, their significant treble roll-off makes sibilants like cymbals and S and T sound dull and lispy. Still, they have consistent audio delivery, so you're more likely to hear the same sound across receipts, and they have a decently comfortable fit for long hours in the studio. If you're dealing with a tight budget or buying a few pairs of headphones in bulk for tracking in a studio, they're decent performers. Number 2 of my list Sony MDR7506 Professional For something a little more wallet-friendly, try the Sony MDR7506. These retro over-ears have been a studio mainstay thanks to their well-balanced sound and closed-back design, which helps lower the risk of your audio bleeding into a recording. Although they have a touch of extra thump, rumble, and boom to their sound, it doesn't overwhelm vocals and lead instruments, as the mid-range is very flat. They also deliver audio consistently across receipts and have a decent leakage performance, which is good if you're monitoring audio at a reasonable volume. Unfortunately, they struggle to block out ambient noise like background chatter. 
Their coiled audio cable helps prevent tangles if you like to move around the studio. However, manufacturers tend to make cuts to build quality at this price point. Unlike the more expensive Audio-Technica ATH-M50X, the Sony headphones audio cable isn't detachable, so if it gets damaged, you'll need to replace the entire unit, unless you're handy with a soldering iron and can perform repairs. Their build also feels cheap despite having metal and plastic parts, so they can make a creaking sound when you put them on your head. However, they offer a well-balanced sound suitable for recording. Because they were originally designed with repairs in mind, they have screws so you can remove and replace parts more easily than on most modern headphones, even if they don't feel premium. And number 1. Audio-Technica ATH-V. The best studio headphones with a closed back design are the Audio-Technica ATH-M50X. Closed back headphones are well suited for recording audio, as their design helps block out some background noise so you can still monitor your audio without completely tuning out what's happening around you. They also leak less audio than open backs, which is great for live sessions. However, they still bleed some audio at high volumes, so they may not be the best for extremely noise-sensitive recording situations. While this will likely be fine if you're monitoring a recording session from a separate room, it may be an issue if you're recording yourself. These popular wired overears are well known within the recording community. Despite their relatively low price point, they provide amazing value and feel surprisingly well built and durable. They also come with three different cable options, including a coiled one that can stretch up to 10 feet so that you can move freely around your studio. They're comfortable and their ear cups can swivel. You can also find the popular Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pro at this price point, they're a viable alternative with minor differences. They're similarly comfortable but have a wider, more spacious passive soundstage. They also have an analytical sound profile, which can help highlight imperfections in your audio. However, this sound can be fatiguing over time. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.